Boom, we're back. And this is the first time you get to see me rolling post-injury and no longer at my old gym. And I've actually been working hard on a new submission, which you're gonna get to see a little bit in this round, but you'll see more in my other videos. We start off with my opponent shoving me into the front head, but I stay low in my turtle with a strong base so when he tries to work around me, I can rotate with him. And if you're on top in this position, you really need to put your weight on them. By not flattening me out or blocking my arms, I'm able to grab a right underhook. And my butt is already coming up off the mat, so this allows me to wrestle up as I'm looking for a far side knee pick. But since he doesn't sprawl out on me, this allows me to take the single leg, which I then transition into the front head. He tries to counter with the fireman's carry, but this is just an invitation for someone to take your back. As I pull him down towards the mat, he wants to keep his chest low to the mat, and this is a good option so he can try and get me off of his back. I miss with my first hook first, so I have to attack with my second hook second. Yes, that just means the top hook, and I'm trying to climb him at the same time I'm pulling him over. By constantly pushing his neck down and forcing him into a tight ball, it's going to make it a lot easier to move him and I can fully take his back. Now I understand that he's a lower belt than me and I want to keep the role interesting at the same time, so don't copy me here. I let go of the back and I go for a risky move by going towards his leg. I almost throw myself into a triangle which is a really stupid call, but I'm looking at that leg like it's jailbait and I'm trying to show off the new submission, the ankle lock. I'm sitting in cross Ashi, but I want to extend him enough so I can start to go belly down with the submission. Once he's far enough away and he can't hand fight or defend, I just have to pull on this a little bit and get the tap. I've been working exclusively on the ankle lock for a few months now, and if you want to get better at it, you better subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss any videos and you'll be able to do that same move in the future by watching how I do it. But just so I don't become a one trick 10th planet pony, I'm also going to hunt for the guillotine. I wrap his leg up with my own leg so I can hook it and prevent him from escaping and I can use this to easily climb towards mount or past the guard. In this case I decided to show him the big brother movement by going towards the one handed guillotine and shoving my massive double D chest size into his face and getting the tap. Now here's some advice I'd like to give to a lot of you that are trying to get better at jiu jitsu. If you're going to start on bottom it's best to have an upright posture. This allows me to hit him with counters such as posture control and arm drags, and he wants to try and enter my guard by shoving me down. Now my opponent isn't just going to be a punching bag. He hooks over my leg so I won't be able to use this to defend, so I have to do two things. I fall to my side so his head is to drive into me, and then I have to push the head away so it can create an opening for my knee. He pulls out so he can pass with a little bit of space and he doesn't have to fight the guillotine, but he's going to have to fight these leg locks instead. His pullout game isn't as strong as he says to the ladies, so I'm able to grab the heel, pull him in, and I'm going towards single leg X. He makes the right call by trying to crowd me and then stripping my feet off of his hips, but I use my left shin to drive really hard against him, and I recover my right leg, bring it in, and push forward so I can get an easy trip. Now he tries to defend by swinging his leg over, but this gives me an extra grip because I can use my left hand to push out of the way, readjust my ashi, and once everything is locked in and I'm able to cup his knee with my left hand, I can start to go towards my chest and hit the same submission that we saw earlier. Now I know everyone is dying to know what's next for me on my jujitsu journey, so I'm curious if people would like to see an interview style video with Prison Perry himself about me leaving the gym, Basalt's Ben, where I'm going from here, etc. Let me know in the comments below. A really important aspect to rolling is to always be pushing the pace so that they're reacting to you. I pretended like I was going to pass this guard, but I used this as a setup to pull him into backside 50-50. Most people would love the inverted heel hook on the right leg, but by hooking the far ankle, even if he does a backstep, it's going to be completely useless. I just have to continue to rotate from here and I can apply that same chest down pressure on the ankle lock to get the tap. The ankle lock isn't a super common submission and most people would prefer to get better at the heel hook. But just like the guillotine, it is available in so many positions and you can do it in any rule set. So if having a foot fight is just your thing, these videos are definitely going to help you and you're going to become an ankle lock master right after you finish guillotines. And speaking of guillotines, as my opponent shoots into me, I'm using one to try and counter his shot, but he does an excellent job of landing on his feet on the opposite side and driving into me. Then I get lazy by letting go of the guillotine so I can come on top, but he rehooks my leg so I'm forced to sit up and I'm just going to apply another choke but this one has a little bit of sauce to it. Most guillotines you want to pass around the guard so you can free your head and von flu them. But this variation has my elbow so high that if he passes that way, he's actually going to choke himself. But if you don't pass, you're going to get choked as well. So he tries to somersault, 
but he just falls deeper into the choke. Now we are multiple submissions in, so let's talk about what we've done. We've done guillotines and ankle locks, and I think they pair really well together because if you can't attack the top of the body, you can always attack the lower half. It's great to pair the guillotine with the ankle <laughs> lock, and that? I can't wait to see more people going Isn't that disgusting? after watching these videos. It was horrible. I scoot into my opponent, so he goes towards the front head. He's trying to go towards my back, and here's a very common bait you can hit if you have nice. fast hips. I give him my back, but I'm chasing the guillotine and I latch onto his neck. As long as I can scoot my hips to the side faster than he can get behind me, it's a pretty easy submission. I use this to get to my own front head, pull the leg over, force the tap over him, and we get another submission. I definitely don't advise that guillotine seconds. if you're not fast enough, however. If you try and beat them to the punch but they're faster than you, you're just going to have them on your back and now you're going to be fighting off a rear naked choke. Understanding your athletic and scrambling abilities is really important if you want to hit that one. But this does bring us towards the end of the video, so if you appreciate seeing some new submissions and you want to see more content like that from the future, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.